So now in this video we're going to bring in the 555 timer there. This is the NE555 and we have it wired in by stable mode. What that means is the output is going to stay in the state that it is in. Right now it's low until we force it to change. So now the output is high. That was the set pin. The output is high. It's going to stay so it's stable in two states until you force it to change. We need to power the integrated circuit. We got five volts at the rail there. The positive supply going to pin eight right there, VCC. The negative supply called uh, ground goes to pin one for powering it. You see it also goes to pin six. Pin six is the threshold pin. By connecting it ground, it does nothing. Pin number two is the trigger pin. We called it set though for the circuit. A high enough voltage right there, five volts, keeps it from doing anything. So we got the pull up resistor there from the positive supply. Closing the switch though, we get a direct connection to ground right there, zero volts. When you give a low input, which is zero volts, in this case, that sets the output high. Pin four is the reset pin. It responds the same way. A high enough voltage it does nothing but you give a low input and then it changes state so we have the pull up resistor given a positive supply there until we close the switch given a direct connection to ground which sets the output low and that sets the output low no matter what else is going on it's the strongest input of this integrated circuit when the output is low then we have a current path like that which uh, connects to ground pretty well. So I used a blue LED and a 1000 ohm resistor to indicate a low input. When the output's high, it connects to uh, five volts. It loses some voltage though. We have a red LED, so I used 220 ohm resistor there. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.